Hey guys, it's Amanda, also known as Amateur Aries, and today we're doing something I haven't done in quite a while, which is talking about my favorite makeup. Yeah, I normally don't have different favorite makeup because usually I can't afford too much makeup and can't try out different things from different brands because of how expensive they can be. So these are items I've collected throughout the years that I've trialed and aired with the more, I would say, less expensive brands that I could get a hold of or brands that my friends have personally bought for me and have given to me for trial and error. So these are just items that I have collected that I like so far. I only picked like one out of each category, like foundation, concealer, and so on. So let's just get started. First for foundation, I have L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable Makeup in N3. I used to use this all the time, but I used to use it in W3, and then I learned that I'm actually more of a neutral skin tone than a warm skin tone. But you don't realize that until many, many years later, and no one tells you that your, your face doesn't like match with your neck so <laughs> and one day I saw myself in a vlog I'm like why is my neck yellow but my face orange <laughs> and that's how it happened <laughs> so anyway so I got N3 and this is one of my favorite because it just goes on like a second skin without really you realizing that it's on your skin it doesn't feel like it's on your skin it just it blends so nicely so this is my favorite foundation out of the couple that I've tried I've tried expensive ones also but they're really, really old, so I'm not going to try them anymore. And I can't remember if I like them too much or not. So I can't put a stamp on that. Again, my friends bought them for me. So I don't even think they were the right shades because of that. So For color correcting, I got... Well, I actually like another one better than this. But I've been leaning into this one more because it's more convenient for me. And my other one's running out. It's a Hard Candy Sheer Envy Color Correcting Cushion Wonder in orange. I get very, very bad dark circles. I don't know if you can even tell right now in the camera itself but I do get terrible dark circles lately I've been like pasting my face with concealer and this like three times before I'm even capable of sitting down in front of a camera or a mirror to be exact because I've just been getting really bad dark circles lately lack of sleep lack of water and rubbing my eyes I already know the issues I just gotta stop it so I use this for my dark circles is it that great it's good it's I could use a thicker mask that hides it better so like I said, I've been using it three times in order to hide the, the dark circles. So I probably could find something better. This is just more convenient and more in my price range. For concealer, my favorite is Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer in Light Neutral. And I actually have purchased this myself because I kept hearing great, great things about it. About how well it covers and how good it is to conceal and everything like that. So I just really wanted to try it. So I actually did go out of my way to purchase this. And I love it. I do love it a lot. It does cover nicely. It does hide red marks and any other marks. Uh, I'm still having problems with my dark circles, but I guess, again, that's on me. I can't blame the products for that, so I'm not going to. Back when I didn't have such a hard time with dark circles, probably also because of my medications, um, this covered it up pretty well with just one layer of orange concealer or color corrector may I be exact so <laughs> I definitely like this and will I purchase more if I have the money at the time after it runs out we'll see <laughs> Laura Mercier secret brightening powder for under eyes I love this this is my second one it they last for quite some time so I did pay for this myself I just again it's one of those products I heard such great things about and I was like I really have to try that I didn't hear nothing but you know, great news about it nothing bad so I grabbed it originally I grabbed the translucent one it not my favorite but then I grabbed this one and I have been using it ever since and I do occasionally try other powders but they leave a white po like a powder underneath my eyes compared to it's translucent <laughs> you know what I'm saying so I always seem to go back to this so Will I buy more of this? I almost guarantee I'm going to find ways to get money to buy more of this if, once it runs out, which luckily for me, it does take some time to run out of this powder to, uh, to even worry about it. Save, <laughs> save up in the meantime, put a quarter here, a quarter there for saving. That's how quick it's going to be. My favorite eye gel. Okay, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Medium Brown and the tool it comes with. So this is the Dip Brow. This also lasts a very, very long time. 
like you'll probably see it cracking before you run out of it at least for me because I don't do my brows so thickly I just do enough to make it look natural and I brush it through to look more natural I don't box it in like a lot of people do I just make it look more natural and filled in so uh, it lasts pretty long time and I did purchase this myself again and I had to purchase this on a different transaction later on because I couldn't purchase both at the same time and anyhow this is a great product to go with it this is the Anastasia dip brow I think it's the dip brow or brow pencil brow <laughs> angle brush you know what I'm saying it goes with this <laughs> I promise I just don't have the name on it anymore it's worn out so it does go with this so this is my favorite dip brow I have tried others in the past cheaper versions and it just doesn't aim up to this as much as it is or maybe it's just the brush I think it's just the brush half the time because the brush is so sharp it like lines it perfectly my favorite contour palette no I actually haven't tried I can't say that I tried maybe three or four in my entire life I tried the Maybelline one I tried the Anastasia Beverly Hills one I tried some of the single ones like you get this just the contour or just the bronzer I tried some of those a couple of those but my favorite is obviously the shade and light palette by Kat Von D and you'll see what I mean in a second I've probably done this in another favorite video but look at that this is still my my first one I haven't bought another one since and I didn't purchase this my friend purchased this for me and it's really hit hit pan in some areas but I'm still using it because girl I don't got enough money to pay for another one of these for a while not saying they're really really expensive but I have other things I'm supposed to be paying for, for right now so it's gonna keep hitting pan until it's literally just pan and there's nothing else I can scrape off with my nail the reason why I like it by the way is because I like how there's different tones of the browns and I can just play with it in different lighting and different ways to make my jaw look sharper etc 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 my favorite highlighter on the other hand you guys probably seen me use a dozen and more times is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero kit I haven't hit pan surprisingly surprisingly I haven't hit pan but it, it's it's not even getting close this is what I use the most but they they've all been touched I it's just you can't tell because that's how much is in there <laughs> And the reason why it's my favorite, other than it's really, really pigmented, but Nicole Grower was like one of my favorite beauty gurus. I just feel like she's more soul bound into everything she does, if that makes any sense, than I normally see in, in anyone, even like people in real life around me. Just she puts a lot into what she does, and I just, you could feel it almost. And maybe I'm just crazy. But that's the way I experience when I watch her. It's like I, I feel like I'm actually there talking to her. Compared to a lot of the viewers who are just like, and you're just like, Can't slow down, <laughs> slow down. Where were we? <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. One of my other favorite uh, gurus is Carly Bible, and I have two of her kits over there too. My favorite blush. Now, okay, I don't really have a favorite blush. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you, because I try different ones. I have like three or four. I rotate them and I don't care for blush so much if I could choose to just not do blush half the time I don't but I do it for makeup looks anyways just to make the face look like a face like I normally don't wear blush half the time so the one I usually use the most but still hasn't hit pan is the makeup geek blush pan in the color spellbound the reason why I choose this one the most is because everyone uses makeup geek so I just like to try to make myself feel like I'm like the rest of the crowd I'm like the rest of the girls I have to have the rest of the girl stuff but it hasn't hit pan yet and I don't think it will for a very long time because again I don't use blush too much when I do it's like very minimum like except for today because uh, girl honestly I put more than I expected on so hopefully it doesn't look too too raunchy or anything like that but anyway <laughs> I really don't have a favorite blush this is just the one I usually pick up more than I pick up the other ones if it makes any sense now people are gonna be wondering what's my favorite eyeshadow palette I don't have one because I use a whole bunch of them and don't really lean towards one more than any other I guess my favorites would be my Carly Bible palettes I'm not gonna go get them because they are literally covered with more palettes I need to clean that out or go through them eventually 
I do that by trying out the different shadows and making sure they're pigmented. So it's going to take a while. But probably those because I actually went out of my way to make sure I got them, purchased them. And I like the colors, I like the highlights, I like the, I like all the shades in them. I just don't want to touch them too much because they're limited edition. I'm not going to be able to get them anymore. So I don't like touching them too much. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so those are probably my favorite palettes. My favorite eyelashes, if you guys have been with me for a while, you guys probably already know it's Kiss Lashes and any kind of lash. Mostly Wispies. I prefer Wispies. Right now I've been using mostly Page Boy by Kiss Blowout Lashes. So these are my top favorite lashes currently. I do this because I switch between the Kiss Lashes a lot, like from this one to Posh I use a lot. And there's another one, I think Shy. I use a lot so this one's just the one I'm using more because this one is just on top of all the other lashes I have a drawer full of lashes I just purchase them whenever I have the money and they just kind of grew on me so I also have Nicole's but I'm not using those because them expensive lashes <laughs> and a girl I don't have time to go buy more <laughs> so I just have them for collectibles yes I collect makeup from people that I like to follow because it's me supporting them if anyone wants to throw a fist at me, go ahead. I'll go fight you for it. Anyhow, my last product, my favorite setting spray, has been in my favorites before. <laughs> the NYX First Base uh, Primer Spray is my favorite. This is probably my 10th bottle, let's be honest. I just feel like it does a better job than all the other setting sprays that I've experienced. It just, they do better. And um, I don't really have anything else to say. It makes my face look nice and sheen or sheer or whatever you want to describe it the matte makes it look matte the doughy one makes it look doughy this is just a primer spray i just spray in beforehand i spray all the time even after so it does a great job i'm gonna spray now <sighs> feels refreshing anyhow that's all that i have for you guys about my favorite makeup sorry that i've been stuttering throughout this video I don't know why I'm stuttering throughout this video. I think think that I have a lot of energy me suddenly. So sorry if you hear me stuttering a bit. I'll hopefully cut those parts off. off. <laughs> I'll be able to cut those parts out. And you guys will be able to just see me cutting a lot. Like that. Like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more makeup videos, just keep watching.